This video explains how to use the Megamax42 fault code functions. To arrive at the starting point for this video, select Diagnostics, Make of Vehicle, Fuel Type, Model and Engine Code. The Diagnostic video explains the vehicle selection process in more detail. Fault codes is one of six diagnostic functions available for the Ford Focus being used in this example. Highlight Fault Code and press Enter. An information box will introduce how to interpret the scan results. This will disappear after approximately 15 seconds. Nine different control units are available for the selected vehicle. Selecting Overall Request will scan all control units in a single pass. It is advised that this function is used as the same fault may be stored in more than one control unit. In this vehicle's example, control unit scans can be carried out individually for the engine, ABS, airbag, air conditioning, comfort, gearbox, theft warning, steering and audio video. Highlight overall request and press Enter. A list of all the control units that may apply to the selected vehicle is displayed. Any control unit that is known not beyond the vehicle can be removed from the scan. Highlight the appropriate control unit and press Enter. This will delete the black dot indicator on the left of the screen. To reinstate the control unit, highlight it and press Enter the black dot will be reinstated. To carry out a full scan, highlight OBD. The vehicle ignition should now be switched on. On the taskbar, F1 now shows Read. Press F1. A help message will show the vehicle's battery voltage. The battery voltage should be indicated in green text. If the voltage is OK, press Enter and the Megamax 42 will begin the scan of all control units. When the Megamax 42 is communicating with the vehicle, a note box will be displayed. If there are no faults with a particular control unit, a zero will be indicated. If the Megamax 42 cannot communicate with a particular control unit, two dashes will be indicated. The number of faults that are stored in a particular control unit will be displayed. When the scanning is complete, the license, i.e. registration number, and VIN box will be displayed. For some vehicles, the VIN number will have been pre-populated as a result of the scan. If required, the VIN number can be recorded using the same functions as for the license number entry, which will be explained shortly. Highlight license number plate and press enter. License numbers for previously recorded vehicles will be displayed. Select the license number or if the vehicle is being recorded for the first time, press enter. A license number plate box will appear. The taskbar now indicates the up arrow, selects a keypad. Press the up arrow to display alpha characters. Use the arrow keys to highlight each character and press enter to select. To select numeric characters, press F2 and use the arrow keys to highlight each character and press Enter to select. Press F2 twice to reselect alpha characters and use the arrow keys to highlight each character. Press Enter to select. 
When the license number entry has been completed, press Escape and then Enter. And press F1 to accept. The vehicle's identity and the fault code results are now stored and available from the diagnostic folder. Following the scan and confirmation of the vehicle identity, the fault code screen will be redisplayed. At this stage, the fault details can be printed by pressing F2 and the print window will appear. Select Print and press Enter. The fault code screen will then be redisplayed. Now, highlight the control unit that is indicating a fault and press F1 to read the fault. A help message will show the vehicle's battery voltage. The battery voltage should be indicated in green text. If the voltage is OK, press Enter. The screen will display how many faults relate to the particular control unit and a brief description of each fault. For more information, highlight the fault and press Enter. The fault is displayed together with the relevant components function. Press the down arrow key for general diagnostic information about the cause and effect of the specific fault. And to print the fault information, press F2. Press Escape to return to the faults display. If other faults relate to the particular control unit, highlight the fault and press Enter for more information. If there are no more faults, press Escape to return to the full scan list. Faults can be deleted by pressing F3. A help message will display the battery condition. The battery voltage should be indicated in green text. If the voltage is OK, press Enter. A message will appear indicating the Mega Max 42 is communicating with the vehicle. As each fault code is deleted, a confirmation message will be displayed. Press Enter. As each fault is deleted, the display shows a zero in brackets, indicating a deleted fault. Repeat the process for all saved faults. When all faults have been deleted, a rescan is advised to check for reoccurrences. To proceed with the rescan, press Escape and press Enter to select Overall Request. Highlight OBD, press F1 to read the vehicle control units. A help message will display the battery condition. The battery voltage should be indicated in green text. If the voltage is OK, Press Enter. If faults have reoccurred, further diagnosis may be required. If no fault codes have reoccurred, press Escape seven times to return to the main menu and switch off the Mega Max 42. The vehicle ignition can now be switched off and the OBD2 lead safely removed from the vehicle.